We mentioned last week a few mm -hmm. times a huge lacrosse tournament, mm -hmm. uh, basically provincial championships under 19 in Aurelia over the weekend. And we have some highlights. Aurelia taking on the top seed Friday. That's right. Uh, taking on Toronto. And uh, let's take you to uh, Rotary Field right now and take a look at what happened. There's a look at the top-ranked Toronto team. Aurelia was in tough in this one. Toronto getting off to the fast start right there. That's Kennedy Milburn with the goal. And then Ella Calder. Top shelf. 2 nothing. Nice goal. Toronto continues their fast start. Watch this pass right here by Milburn to Hannah Carroll. Wow. 3 nothing. Route is on? Just like that. Route looked to be on, but uh, Aurelia fought back with a couple goals to make it 3-2. And then Shauna Ayers. Nice goal. Nice goal indeed. I like the Catwoman mask too. I love the Catwoman mask. Fantastic. Man. And then Caitlin Ayers makes it 4-3. That's right. Aurelia coming back to take a 4-3 lead to the second half. And then uh, kind of hard to see who scores this one here, but nonetheless Aurelia extends their lead to make it 5-3. And then Jordy Sanders nice goal. comes around the back of the net. She makes it 6-3, but Toronto not going away. They weren't done. At that point, believe it or not, that made it 7-6 Toronto. They scored a bunch of goals to tie it up. That made it 8-6 Toronto. Aurelia would come back to tie. We've got some dramatics to show you right here. Mackenzie Robinson, that is a tying 8-8 goal. Eight, eight goal. And then with 30 seconds left in the game, I'm going to show you this. Watch the goaltender for Toronto. Not a great clear. Turnover. Turnover to Shauna Ayers for her second goal of the game. With 30 seconds left, Aurelia beats top-ranked Toronto 8-9. Congratulations. 8-9. Or <laughs> I love 9-8. Nine, eight. Nine, do, eight. do I work in sports? What's going on here? I appreciated that one. And <laughs> hey, how about a sport that's really growing? We talked about that a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked to the girls after the game yeah. about a sport that's just uh, thriving right Burgeoning. now in Ontario. Let's take a look. Girls across is huge now, especially in Aurelia. Um, so many girls are coming, little girls. They're all like five, they're coming out. It's incredible. Um, I just love to teach people, so all the girls coming is great. It's a great sport that helps you with many other sports like um, basketball and hockey. It's like the skills are um, transferable. It's grown huge. I've only been involved the last six years or so, and it's just it's doubled since I've started. Um, especially in this community, we have tons of kids playing house league as well, and all the way up. We have new divisions each year. There was a U13 division added a couple years ago. Um, they're trying to add a U17 division as well. Clearly the sport is growing in Canada, but still not close to the popularity in the United States, which is where Kelsey Pritchard is off to this fall at Detroit Mercy University. I think since it's so big there, it will show Canadian girls that like, you can go for because Canadian universities, they don't have athletic scholarships, they only have academic. So to see that you can get athletic and academic scholarships like shows them you can, can go far in girls across because a lot of times you think it's just over after high school. But it's not. There's a ton of girls. Like there's most universities have a team now, um, and it's really great to see. Like there's tryouts for every team, and it's getting a lot more competitive. So we'll hopefully be able to compete with the state soon. Um, and it's just awesome to see. Like there's a ton more girls. Like you get little five-year-olds carrying around sticks, and it's awesome to see. With post-secondary just around the corner, the three girls are excited for the opportunities ahead of them. It's mind-blowing. I'm so happy and I'm so excited to be playing um, at the next level at university and I can't wait. It's everything. My life revolves around it. Like every, like I go to tournaments, I go to different teams, American teams, just because it takes up my time and I don't like being bored so, <laughs> and it keeps me active. I'll be playing for U of T in the fall and I hope uh, that I will be able to compete on Team Canada one day, maybe in the next big World Cup they have. That'd be awesome. That's my goal.